Hey guys, welcome back to Farm Sim 19 again here on the Farm Sim Network. Uh, remember that uh, if you go sign up on the Farm Sim Network, farm, uh, farm Simulation Network.info is where you can find it. Uh, when you register at the very beginning, uh, use code 2618 when they ask you what favorite streamer or content creator sent you to the site. Uh, you will see it uh, down in this area. On the main page, I will show you that at the end of the video, but make sure when you're registering and, it, and you throw up on the question of what content creator streamer sent you, uh, number 2618, that is me. You can put that in there. That'd be fantastic if you would. Uh, thank you very much for that. Also, you can find me over on twitch.tv slash doosomess or just go to doosomess.tv uh, for all the other content that you don't find here on YouTube. Also, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I do stream here four days a week as well, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at noon central time. So if you want to come find me there, do that. Find me at Twitch at night at uh, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, yeah, well, let's get into this contract real quick. So contract came up for um, an hourly payment. Uh, looks like chopping trees. So I wanted to, I wanted to help out and make some money. Uh, this work requires join, joining Damage Incorporated, the password for the farm there. Uh, I will not post that uh, because... I don't want everybody just jumping in here unless you have a contract for the farm. Uh, but either way, they will have a they will have a password for the farm uh, that is needed to join. And the reason you're going to need to do that is because uh, if you have to sell anything for them or anything like that, or if you're working under them, you're going to want to be on their farm as well. Uh, details. Chip five trees north of field 98 near the wood chipper. I'll show you where that is in a moment. Uh, once they are done... Or when the containers are full, bring them to the chip storage near the main farm silo. We'll be doing that as well. Um, I will be in-game, so message me with any questions. FYI, I have an LTO and tree permits, so they are not needed by you. Okay, I've already accepted the contract. It's paying $3,000 an hour uh, to chop trees. It says chop five, so if if um, Damage Incorporated is going to be in-game, we can just ask them if uh, we can do more or less. It depends on how quick we get these done, I guess how much land they're trying to clear if there's more work needed since it's an hourly amount i'm sure once you get in with somebody like that paying an hourly amount you can ask them if there's anything else you need done that way you don't have to change servers and go do another contract with somebody else uh, most people paying an hourly wage they may need something else from you uh, it really just depends on the person and what all kind of work they have and what kind of money they have really because money's kind of hard to come by <laughs> in the farm sim network but uh, either way uh, let's jump over to the game real quick and we will get started all right i'm already in the server I have already, uh, I've already kind of got set up down here and uh, touch base with Damage Incorporated to make sure I was in the right place. So you can see that he's got everything already set up here. So this is kind of nice. We got our, uh, it is nighttime because it runs in real time. And right now it is midnight on the nose uh, in real time. For me, this runs off of Eastern time zone. So if you're curious about what the times would be when you were going to be on the most, just look up the Eastern time zone, convert it to your time. Uh, it is the second day of winter, so there is no field work going on, but he, he does have some crop growing over here. What is this? Uh, oats. It must be winter oats. Very nice. Uh, but he's got this nice dump truck here, and then uh, the uh, container back here on the IT runner, and then we got the wood chipper. Uh, he's got a log trailer back there. I don't know if he's just dragging stuff around with the log trailer or whatever, but uh, again, he does have the LTO, so it's not needed by us. We're just chopping some wood. Uh, up, so let's get this thing unfolded back here. Get all this out. Uh, and I mentioned in uh, Wednesday's video, I do have a side panel, uh, but I don't have this. Um, let, me, let me change. Let me change view here. I don't have this motion set up for it, the extension part. I don't have that set up on it yet. So uh, it would be really handy to have two: have the side panel with the uh, joystick, and then have a second joystick uh, just for the correct motions. Uh, but either way. Uh, that that is neither here nor there uh let's get the pipe out on this thing and let's crank up the tractor it's gonna be loud and then we're gonna turn the pto on lots louder lots louder very cool it looks like the wood chipper is gonna find the container maybe we may have to move the truck over but we do have uh, our cdl so no issue there let me throw a log in here and see Actually, you know what? Let's start with a smaller one. Let's throw a small one in there to start with just to make sure that the wood chip's going to be hitting the right place here. Uh, I do not want to. That one's too big. I don't want to waste too many wood chips, so let's get a small. Let's take uh, like this one. We'll drop that. We're going to make sure that that actually goes into the trailer. 
It looks like it is. Good deal. Okay, we can jump back in the tractor now and uh, start dropping some of these logs. Uh, now, a 3,000 hourly payment is is uh, pretty nice. I've seen that be pretty standard. Uh, sometimes it's sometimes it's pretty standard. Uh, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 hours, stuff like that. So uh, you'll see 3,000 hour uh, a little bit, maybe not as much as you would like, of course, because everybody likes to make money. So, uh, but keep in mind the guys on here that are that are running the farms have to make money as well. So it's not just it's not just you, you know, they have to make money as well. So uh, 3,000 hours, not a bad, not a bad wage uh, at all. It's actually pretty good. So just trying to get it to wrap up in there. Come on now. Um, now, sometimes it might be worth it, uh, especially if you're paying somebody hourly, it might be worth it for me uh, just to go ahead and cut that so it goes on in because I'm taking a lot of time with one log. <laughs> a lot of time with one log here. Let me, uh, let me hop out real quick. Let's hop back here and see what's, I'm stuck, I'm stuck on the tractor. Go see what's going on. See if I can just take a little off the top here, maybe. Every time I start to cut, it starts to go, so... Uh, if it moves, it cancels your cut. Let's see if we can get all the way through it here. All right, looks like we got that part in there. I wonder if I can move that by hand. Not wanting to let me. Hmm. Let's cut it right there. See if that angle will let it go on in. Again, spending too much time working on one thing, so I'd ra I'd rather go ahead and just cut it and get it in there. I got some other big logs I got to get in there too. So, I'll grab a. Hang on, let me grab a. Grab one of these. This this works sometimes. You grab your old battering ram here, and uh, you just beat it with a stick, basically. Well, that one went. Like it's trying to take that second one. There it goes. Now it's going in there. All right, let's get all these big chunks in there, and then we can we can go on from there. I'm gonna work on this for a bit, and I'll I'll bring you back. Uh, I've still got to cut some trees down, so there's still other work for you to see. I will bring you back uh, momentarily. Alright, looks like the uh, the owner has come down here to check my progress. Uh, and we have filled this bin up back here, and we also have some going into the dump truck. I was just throwing an extra in there to see if we could, uh, we could check that guy there. Uh, so this little hand tool that you can get, you can click on stuff and see how much is in there. So it is full 45,000 wood chips. Uh, the dump truck holds uh, 40,000, I do believe, uh, but it's got it's got 769 liters of diesel in it, but it's got 1,254 liters of wood chips, which is nice. Okay, so we're well on our way. I think this last log here, that's not the vehicle I wanted to get in, this last log here probably um, is the last one we'll have to do with the machine, then we can grab the rest of them by hand. It's a lot quicker uh, to grab them by hand. Again, you don't want to pick up more than you, more than you have to, uh, but, oh, that wasn't even close. Let's try it again. Uh, you don't want to pick up more than you have to, by, or cut up more than you have to, so. Uh, see, that's what I'm saying right there. You never know what you're going to come up with. Uh, so give me a second, let me find out the details, and I will bring you back. So this is how quickly things can change. Uh, I was doing logs a minute ago, and another farmer on the map uh, needed some crops hauled uh, down to the custom silo. So there are customs, uh, FSN custom silos on here that the farmers have to dump their crops in. Uh, and they get paid from that, and then they'll, there'll be another contract come up for FSN, for the FarmSim Network, um, to take those crops to a sell point to sell to go to the FarmSim Network farm. So basically, the FarmSim Network farm pays the other farmers on the, on the map uh, for their crops, and then the FarmSim Network takes and distributes them as well. So you can be on here doing one thing, and then if you're working hourly for somebody, they can go, hey, do you mind running up and doing this You know, while you're here? Do you have time? Uh, so you can stay on one place and probably make some good money uh, doing hourly work and be doing a bunch of different things. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, again, I was putting my last log in with the machine, and then uh, all of a sudden, now I'm running grain. So, uh, But either way, uh, this is the FSN custom silos. If you haven't seen them, there's usually some uh, FarmSim Network customs truck and trailers. Uh, they are blue and white, and then it uh, looks like uh, some kind of other trailer there. And then as you pull up, you'll see the board here. 
Now, if you take a contract for a customs contract to run customs to a sell point, you're doing it for the FarmSim network. So when you jump in, you're going to want to make sure that you join the FSN team. Because if you're, if I was to go sell this on uh, Damage Incorporated right now, um, then the money would go to him and then there'd be a mess. So you always want to make sure that if you're doing uh, sell points for customs to sell points, that you're joining this team here. Uh, but because I'm dumping just grain into this, he should still get paid for it. I'm going to hop out real quick and double check with uh, Brian Damage and make sure that that's the way this works before I dump this. So it's always good to ask questions if you have any. Uh, but either way, I'm going to run this grain and then I'll uh, I'll be back with you momentarily. All right, guys, as you can see here, uh, Brian come over and uh, we threw the last few logs on. And uh, we'll cut down one more. He's about to ground the stump on it. This is going straight to uh, customs to sale. So we're going to we're going to head out here. Turn all the lights on. There we go. Get our four ways on. We'll get out of his way here. I'm going to creep up the side of this field here because we've got stuff uh, on our left that we don't need to run over. And I think I can get out this way. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I have been on his farm before, so I think we can get out this way without killing any of his crop. Uh, definitely don't want to do that. So, put the old bright lights on here. Uh, and we're just going to be real easy headed up here. Because I don't want to catch that container on one of these trees. And I can't see, but I don't think... I think we... I think we're good. I think we're clear. Uh, but headed up here anyway. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to finish up uh, this contract for him here momentarily. That will complete my five trees. Uh, it took us just over an hour, so not bad. Not bad money at all. Um, and he doesn't really have a road down there, so we kind of make our own. I don't like the windows in this dump truck at all. Uh, we kind of had to make our own road out. Uh, but either way, uh, I know my way uh, over to the customs. We're going to take it straight there and sell it. Uh, my instructions by him, so uh, there'll probably be another contract pop up for somebody to take this from customs uh, over to sell uh, at some point. Uh, yeah, it looks like he said there was none in that one, but this is full. So uh, for the price he's getting for it, he might as well go ahead and sell, I guess. Uh, that was his thinking on it. So uh, very cool. Uh, we got our trees done, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we did end up with five. Now, if he needs me for a little longer, I may stay on, but I'm not going to bore you guys with it because it's more of the same. Uh, again, having, having a pop-up contract come in um, as we were already on the server... Uh, it's pretty nice as well, and that's the, that's the stuff I'm talking about. You never really know uh, exactly what's going to be going on, so uh, it's good to make sure that uh, you're aware uh, that there are other contracts popping up while you're already on the server. So if you're getting close to being done, uh, and the guy that the person that you're working for um, is doing stuff as well, then you may ask him before you leave, "Hey, you got anything else you need doing before I take off?" Uh, they may have more stuff for you to do. You never know. So it's always good to make sure that you ask. Um, because you just never really know uh, if you're going to be able to make more money before you hop out. And having to log out and then sync into a different server, all that kind of stuff, uh, it just saves you all the time. It saves whoever you're syncing with, the sync warning and the sync, the syncing sim and all that kind of stuff like we're used to with farm sim. So uh, be aware. Uh, when you jump on and take a contract, check before you leave just to make sure that uh, the person you're working with doesn't need anything else done. It'd be good uh, just to double check that. Now, as we come up to the to the customs here, uh, in the little mini map down there, if I blow the whole map up, you won't be able to see them. But in the little mini map down here, you see the purple dot. Uh, that is whoever took the contract to come in to run the soybeans that we delivered to the customs a minute ago from customs uh, down to sell at the nearest sell point. So typically with the custom stuff, you literally just go to the nearest sell point and that's it. So, uh, fish, Birchwood Farms, nice, uh, is taking it. So it looks like he's got him a load of soybeans. Uh, let's see what he's got left in there. Let's be nosy. Let's be nosy. It looks like he is maybe on his last trip. He is. He's already on his last trip. So I don't know what that contract paid, but, uh, he has already done with it. And he just, he just jumped in about 10 minutes ago. So it uh, doesn't take very long to run those. Those are great contracts to have. Again, you do have to have your CDL. You do have to abide by uh, the 
guidelines and such uh, to be doing things like that. So we're just going to back up here. Uh, I typically like to dump the back one first. Uh, so there we go. We'll just dump that. And then we'll switch back to the dump truck. Oh, looks like Brian's, Brian's needing something. Um, alrighty, so uh, that is going to do it. Again, another contracting by hour, uh, which is pretty nice to have, honestly. And then sometimes you get... Uh, you get the contracts to run grain or plow a field or whatever you're working for somebody, just doing miscellaneous farm work and stuff around. And there are also ways that you can make contracts with people or agreements, I think is what it's on here. Uh, but you can do that. So let's hop over to the uh, to the website real quick and finish up this contract because we are done. Uh, he told me to leave the truck here. He was going to take it. So uh, we are done with this. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, remember, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, about it and if you want to see more of these farm sim network videos let me know down in the comments below like subscribe all that head over to twitch follow me there do some s.tv you can find the website or find me on twitch at do some s uh twitch.tv slash do some s find me on twitch there uh, again i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you in the next one have a good one later everybody